Hello everybody. Today we bring you another tale of the Skinwalker, aka the Rake. Let us begin. My father told me a story once. I'll never forget it for a few reasons. I think it's the first story he ever told me as a, as a child. It's also the story of how my grandfather died. Honestly, that isn't the reason. You hear stories on TV or sometimes you hear something in the public place. People talking about ghosts and aliens and you think to yourself, that isn't real. They're making it up or they're mistaken or they're crazy or something like that. You just can't believe it. Until something happens, something that brings it all together, connects the dots in a way you didn't think of before. Maybe it happens to you. Maybe you hear the same story again and again. Happening to different people, it doesn't take long for the world to become a lot bigger than you thought it was. As I said, this is a story my father told me, but I never believed it. Even though he swore up and down it was true, until until I... It wasn't until I started clicking around the internet I started to believe. I started to hear other stories, just like the one my father told me. It didn't take me long to believe in the rake. That's not what my father called it. Of course, he never used the internet in his life. He wouldn't know what the consent has taken to naming it. When he chose to call it something other than it or that thing, he called it the Skinwalker. After an old chokey tale his grandfather told him, but I'll tell you the story the way he told it to me. We were out hunting one night, he'd tell me. Coyotes would kill them for 50 bucks a skin. They lived on a dairy farm on Ohio. They'd kill calves sometimes. We'd do it every night because we needed the money. Sometimes whilst we were out, we'd come on a deer, on a deer and kill it. Our landlord didn't mind. Uh, and it could feed our family for a few nights and save us money. Anyway, we were done making our rounds and head and heading home, walking, because uh, we didn't have a car or a star for wheeler, wheeler back then. We cut through the woods, that's when we came upon it. Blood everywhere, splattered on the trees, in the grass, in the creek, everywhere. At first we figured it was a pack of coyotes. We'd seen it sometimes. They can't scavenge and hunt deer or cattle. The worst was when they breed with feral dogs, but this wasn't like that. See, when a pack of dogs or wolves or coyotes attack something, they do it right. They pick off one that's weak or sick or old, just small. They hunt it, draw it into a corner, someplace it can't get out of, and they run it right to the biggest one, the Alpha. And the deer will never see that Alpha. It might hear it, but it won't see it. It'll just, it'll just notice that its throat is gone and that it drops dead. It's quick, it's clean. That wasn't what happened here. Something had run up on a deer. Coyotes won't attack it then, wolves neither, because they'd get too much of a fight. There were three, I think, three bodies, just torn apart. You'd see a herd here, a, a head here, a leg there, a torso there. Predators don't do that, they don't leave behind scraps. Why well, I'd done this hadn't done it for food, but it had done it for fun. But 
we didn't know that. We saw a bunch of carcasses, and we think it's something we got to take care of. I remember my dad telling me to go home. He thought it was a pack of feral dogs. But I wasn't leaving him, and I damn sure wasn't walking through two miles of woods alone. But nothing. But nothing. But uh, with nothing but a uh, twenty-two and a pocket knife. He was only thirteen at the time, so a twenty-two rifle was about the only gun he could reliably use. Dad had the shotgun, and I wasn't going anywhere without it. It took me a while to convince him, but finally we began tracking whatever did that. It wasn't hard either. We just followed the blood. Either that thing led a deer before it got away, or it dragged one for a mile. I don't know. I know that I've never seen my dad scared before that night. We started hearing noises. I've been in a lot of woods in my life. I've been all over the world, and I'd never heard noises like that, like I heard that night. I heard things screaming. Heard deer and foxes and rabbits and raccoons and birds. Just scared. Keep in mind, this is maybe twelve or one o'clock. Except the foxes and some birds, nothing was supposed to even be awake. But they weren't just awake, they were moving. I saw flocks of birds that night. That night fly straight into tree trees just trying to get out of there. We came upon a a pack of coyotes near near a short couple of logs. It was what we were looking for. Us. It was what was. It was what we were looking for. But then we saw they were running towards us. They ran right past us. Didn't even notice. Then some deer did the same. Then some rabbits, squirrels, foxes, even a couple of wild hogs. These things were supposed to be eating each other. And the only thing they cared about was getting out of there. We should have put it together that maybe whatever we were tracking, it wasn't something we were supposed to see, and it wasn't something we could kill. I don't know why we didn't just go home. I guess we were curious. I think that was my dad's natural nature to go towards trouble to fight and to know what I knew about what my father did during the war. My nature was to stay close to him. We finally get into an open valley. It was normally a soya field, but it wasn't in season, so it was just flat dirt. We saw the tracks, then a lot of animals fleeing the forest and paved over the land. But where the deer blood was, nothing had taken a single step, like they were leaving it for us to find. This is part one of the sleep skinwalker we don't want to spoil part two so we will le just leave you with what we have at this point in time and what we do have is different a few facts about the rake and a few upcoming events Uh, the facts about the rake. The rake is a mysterious creature that there is limited data on. There's only a few stories of these. There's not me as many as the slender. And 
Well, it's hard to describe the rake. But other night, just beware. He could. It's a very, very slim chance. But he could appear out of nowhere. Jaden, do you have any facts? Yeah, yeah, just be careful because it has been said that the Rake and the Slender Man has some sort of connection through this type of radiation called Sigma radiation that is not that well known and that for some reason both the Rake and the Slender Man supposedly possess this radiation. I've not seen him since. That is all the facts that we actually know about the rake. Um, our new projects. We have a few projects that we have for all your viewers. Um, we're only going to start with the code names at the beginning, so we don't give away any little details and information. So we want you to stick around and keep in tune for that. The first one is called Project X. Which I think the only information we really have for you right now is... The trailer for it will be coming very, very shortly. And... Um, you will hopefully enjoy this. Um, there's also a Project Y, and there's a Project Z. These are all... And there is also ZZ, which is a... Uh, a two-parter. Mm -hmm. Or as you could say in movie terms, a sequel. Today. That is all the facts and information we have for you in the rake part one, Skinwalker. We hope you enjoy these just like you did with the slender videos. Please subscribe and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Check out the videos below and click on any that you like or want to see. Get the information you need. And have fun and leave a like on any video that you, well, like. <laughs> see ya! There's an intruder in the tunnels. Leon.